Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and this week I am using the Hooray for Surprises bundle. This is a really unique bundle, something that Stampin' Up! has never done before. These are interactive dies that create little windows on your project so that the recipient has a like a little window to open or to peel off um, when they receive it. So I have a series of videos on this if you're looking for ideas on how to use it. It can be a little intimidating. Honestly, I was intimidated at first, but once I started playing with it, you really get a feel for it. It's quite easy. The sentiments are great, and so are the images. Um, I'm also using the new In Colors. This is uh, Pretty in Pink and Petunia Pop, two colors that are part of the five new In Colors that are available May 1st, 2024. All right, let's make our little interactive window first. Let me uh, peel mine open so I can show you what it looks like. Ready? There you go, sending you lots of love. Isn't that cute? Just a fun little surprise window. All right, you're gonna need uh, two Pretty in Pink uh, circles. These are cut with the largest stylus shape circle die. And then I've cut a third one just um, to create my template. You can cut that out of any color um, that you want. I just used Pretty in Pink because I already had it out. And a pre piece of Petunia Pop. Now I'm gonna put my adhesive sheet on the back of the petunia pop let's see if i can peel this off that way we we're, we're going to turn that into a sticker so i'm just going to lay that down on there lay the sticky part on top and then we'll cut it out and then we have basically sticker backed cardstock that's going to make adhering that part a whole lot easier all right, let's do our die cutting. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is cut our top circle. So I've got one of my Pretty in Pink circles, and I'm gonna use this die right here. Now, this is not going to completely cut out the heart. It's gonna perforate it so that your recipient can Pull it out, pull it completely off. All right, so let's that cut, and I'll show you how the die stays in like that. Now I'm gonna do another one, which is gonna be my template. Put that one right there. And we'll set that one aside as well. All right, now for the petunia piece, we are going to cut it out with the heart that has the holes in it, but the heart that has the holes in it, do not, it doesn't cut out the edge of the heart, it just cuts out the little holes. So we also need to put in this die right here, like that, and we'll run it through, and that way it will completely cut out the heart. All right, see how that comes right out. Okay, I think we're ready to put it together. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping. And I'm gonna bring over some grid paper. If I can get my cut and emboss machine to not fall off the counter. All right, let's grab one of these. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take my little heart and I'm just gonna stamp all over it. And this is pretty in pink. And I just wanted to fill it with some color and some pattern. So I'm just gonna go all the way around it. Now, the reason I'm not stamping it on the heart is because we're gonna take this and stick it on there. Now, let's take the petunia pop and we're gonna stamp the word pull right here. All right, so it says pull, so they know to pull that little, that little notch right there. Okay, so now remember, we made the template right here. So let's move this out of the way. Here's our blank bottom circle. So pull out the window from your template. And you know, this template, save it for the next time so you don't have to cut it out each time. All right, and then I'm gonna get my stamp and I'm gonna use that template as a guide to exactly where I need to stamp. Sending lots of love. All right, now I'm gonna take that little heart and I'm gonna stamp 
that a couple of times in Petunia Pop. So now, because I use a template, I know that when they peel it off, it'll be centered perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of liquid glue and just around the edges here. I don't wanna get it on the heart at all because we want the heart to peel right off. And I'm gonna stick that right on there. Okay, so now let's peel the, the backing off of our heart. and stick that right there. I love these two colors together. They're great. Okay, let's put our card together. I have several things here. I've got a piece of um, Pretty in Pink for my card base. I've got a piece of Petunia Pop and a piece of the new Unbound Beauty uh, uh, d Designer Series paper. It also has the new Summer Splash color in it as well. We're gonna mount that, uh-oh, looks like I need to trim this down just a bit. I will have a free PDF over on my blog for you with the measurements for these pieces. And that blog post also has two other projects for you as well using our, um, hooray for surprises. I lost my train of thought because look, I cut my paper too small, okay. Well, we're just gonna go with it. Now here's a piece of Petunia Pop Designer Series paper, and that is from the In Color Paper Pack. The uh, In Color Paper Pack has uh, 40 sheets, um, eight each of the five new in colors. Um, so, you know, that's the thing that people love about Stampin' Up! is the color coordination. Petunia Pop, if you like Petunia Pop and you're using it on a project, you know that the ribbon, which I'm using right here, Petunia Pop ribbon is gonna match, the cardstock is gonna match, and the designer series paper is gonna match. So it's nice to have those um, color packs of DSP. I love them because then if I ever need just a little piece of a certain color, I just pull out that stack and use a piece of one of those patterns. They're monochromatic um, patterns for each of the colors. Okay, so we've got that on there. Let's put that on our card base. There. And then we'll use some dimensionals to add our little heart pull. I think this is such a sweet little fun card that will surprise and delight. Now I'm gonna put a piece of basic white on the inside. And we'll just stamp a few Petunia Pop hearts on the inside. And there you have it. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog to check it out. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.